This is The American on ESPN Plus from Dallas, Texas and Moody Coliseum. A matchup between the Tulane Green Wave and the SMU Mustangs. Alongside Coach Brian Burton, my name's Chris Mykoski. And Brian, these are two teams going in opposite directions. SMU has lost its last two by a combined 66 points, while Tulane's won three straight. Yeah, Tulane wants to continue to ride the wave, and SMU looking to get back on track. So will be a contrast of two teams going in two different directions. It'll be fun to see tonight. Well, for Tulane, they have a young man who has been absolutely incredible throughout. In fact, he's been in double figures every single game so far this year. Only one on the green wave that can say that. It's Jalen Forbes. Yeah, the American Player of the Week this last week averaged 21 and 5. Uh, he shoots 92% from the free throw line. The Alabama transfer is a big time scorer and must be contained by the Mustangs for them to have a chance. For SMU, we focus on Samuel Williamson, the transfer from Louisville. He is so talented, Brian. He can affect the game even when his shot's not on. Yeah, McDonald's All-American coming out, number 15 rated in the nation as a high school recruit. So we know he has the ability. He averaged 14 in their last three wins. Uh, really important for him not only to do the intangible things, but also to score in this one. Starting lineups presented by UT Southwestern Medical Center, the official health care system of SMU Athletics. Visit utswmed.org. Same starting five for SMU as they had on Sunday at UCF, and that means that Zurich Phelps is not part of the starting lineup. He's out with an oblique strain, so SMU is without its leading scorer for a second consecutive evening. Tulane has a couple of changes in its starting lineup. I'll tell you about those in just a moment. Ready for tip time in Dallas as Mike Nance throws it up. Owen Short and Bill Elk make up the rest of our officiating crew tonight. Yeah, last time out for SMU scored 92 points in this building versus Tulsa. So they have the ability to do it. Hopefully they can get that going tonight. Great first basket there by Tulane. Jalen Cook gets a start tonight, as does R.J. McGee. The other three starters, the same as their most recent game on Saturday at Temple. Sion James, Kevin Cross, and Jalen Forbes. 2-0 Tulane in the early going. Coach Lanier talked about how important rebounding will be. Good offensive rebound there by O.D.G. Not able to hold the grip to get the finish. Back out to the perimeter to Cook. Shot fake. And back over to Sion James. Pulls up and fires off the back of the rim. Yeah, Tulane, a high-scoring ball club, averaging 81 points a game on the season. Love to shoot the three ball. And here he's on the defensive end. They'll play a matchup zone. Love to be able to get out, confuse teams, and get in the passing lane. They're one of the top in steals in the country. Ambrose Hilton misfires, trying to go inside to ODG. Good defense there. Deflection leads to a steal. You see Jones playing the point. Talking to him at shoot-around. He talked about he played the point in high school his junior and senior year, so it's not an uncomfortable position. He just had to embrace it playing here at the college level, doing the same thing. SMU, a significant lead in the all-time series between these two teams. Mustangs have won five of their last six. Smith long on the three-point try. So a series that SMU has dominated of late, but Tulane certainly feels like the favorite tonight given what they've done over the past couple of weeks. Yeah, Coach Hunter actually talked about that. They have not won in this building yet. And he mentioned when he first got the job and they did not have any wins as he inherited this program. And one of the things he's most proud of is where they are now. But he said he remembers playing against the SMU team thinking, how are we ever going to catch those guys? And he feels pretty good about his chances in this one just because his team is playing such good basketball right now. Well, neither team can find its stroke here in the first two and a half minutes. Two to nothing is the Green Wave lead. The only point scored by Kevin Cross. He entered the night seven points away from reaching 1,000 on his career. So now that milestone just five away. 
You know, Ricardo Wright just stepped into the game. A guy who is, has a big ability to make shots from three. So you look for him to get a lot of three-point attempts in this evening. This is Williamson in the lane. No good to the left. Forbes comes down with the board. Now pushes it up. Over to Cross. Cook driving with his left hand, fouled on his way there by Nuttall. Talking to Coach Lanier, going back to Hawaii, he talked about the defensive side of the ball and their engagement there and their connectedness is what really propels them to play such good basketball. So, so far in this one, SMU's done a good job of being locked in defensively and giving Tulane some difficulties. Neither team has scored in over two minutes. Tulane can't end the skid. Can SMU get his first points of the night? No. They'll have a chance at the free throw line with Jalen Smith. Yeah, Coach Lanier also talked about going into Hawaii. They had lost uh, a small handful in a row, and he felt like their team felt like their back was against the wall. And uh, he said at shoot around today that yesterday's practice might have been one of their best practices of the year. Here's Coach Burton's keys to the game, and for Tulane, it starts with forcing turnovers. Yeah, need to force turnovers. They're one of the top in the country. That's how they fuel their offense, uh, one of the ways. And they keep the momentum rolling. They've won uh, multiple games in a row, three in a row now, so that's going to be important. And for SMU, defend without fouling. Tulane's one of the best free throw shooting teams, uh, so they need those free throws to be able to uh, get the points that they want. And then they need to have a dominant paint presence. They can't just settle for threes. They need to play their SMU basketball, which starts in the paint. Jalen Smith hits the back end from the charity stripe. First point for SMU. Now two to one, Green Wave. Smith getting his second consecutive start. Didn't score on Sunday. Finally gets one here on Wednesday. Running and hitting Jalen Cook. Yeah, talking to Jalen Cook today, he mentioned that he loves the way this Tulane team plays with a chip on their shoulder. Loves the way how connected they are and how much they fight together. Inside. Now back out from Hilton. This is Williamson fading away. No good. Brought down by Forbes. Williamson gets in the way. SMU forcing a turnover. Yeah, the defensive activity for SMU right now really good. It's not predicated on if the ball goes in or not. They're still making effort, getting blocks, steals, and yeah, playing with an extra effort. Not all from above the free throw line. And SMU from the field. 0 for 4 now. Long distance, hand got in the way of Cook. Now Williamson fouled hard. Yes, second on James. Second block in a row by Jones on on the ball with Cook. So great defensive focus by SMU to start this one. 